I know you've probably heard many, many times how important it is to be grateful for all that you already have in your life. But do you know why it's important? Do you? Well, in this video, I will be breaking that down that for you. Good. Hey guys, welcome back to Metanaya. My name is Ndumi and today I will be diving deep into why it is so important to be grateful for the life you already have. Now, the time is always now. Always. So if you are not being grateful right now for all you have accomplished, all you have created, all you have learned, all you have overcome. How do you expect to be grateful in the future when the future is created now? When the future does arrive, it arrives as now. We become so trapped in the illusion of time that we watch our whole lives go by just waiting waiting for this imagined future that never ever comes because we're not doing anything now to ensure that future all this waiting for the right time waiting for the right resources waiting for the right amount of money, for the right circumstances. What's basically happening is we are waiting to die. Think about it this way. The past is events that have already, have already happened. They're gone. They only exist in your mind. The future is events that haven't happened. They are a figment of your imagination. So they also only exist in your mind. So what's left? Now, the present moment, the only real time is now. So are you living in your mind, past, future? Or are you taking action and living your life on purpose right now? There are so many things in life that we can be grateful for. When you wake up in the morning on a beautiful sunny day, be grateful for that. Be grateful for the sun. It's, it's warmth. It's vibrant healing light and, and, and brilliant energy. Be grateful for the moon that illuminates the night, for the beauty of the stars, the breeze on a hot summer day. Be grateful for the rain that nourishes the earth and, 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 and grows our food, for the food that you eat, for the water that hydrates you, that cleanses you that gives you life. If you have love in your life, if you have friends, if you have family, if you have a support system, be grateful for that. Thank God for that. If you are able-bodied, if you are healthy, if your eyes can see, if your legs can walk, if you can dance, be grateful for that. Say thank you for that. I could go on all day. The possibilities are endless. If you can make gratitude a daily practice, you can create the inner shift required to attract more wonderful things into your life, more wonderful things to be grateful for, more positive experiences, bring more light into your life. You have to be vibrating on the same frequency 
as the things that you want, as the life that you want, as the person you want to become. Life is energy. It's all energy. So if you are always miserable, if you are always focusing on all that's wrong in your life, all that's missing from your life, all the negative in your life, all that you lack in your life, you are not vibrating on that same frequency. So the things that you want cannot reach you. There has to be a connect. Your energy needs to be in alignment with the things you are trying to call forth, with the things you are trying to cre create. You have to be on the same wavelength. It's all energy. Nobody is coming to save you. Your life, your responsibility. We are co-creators. We have been given free will. And we have been given all of the tools that we require to create the life that we choose to live. Even God can't help you if you aren't willing to help yourself. God can't want something for you that you aren't wanting for yourself. God can't do something for you that you aren't willing to do for yourself. God can't believe in you more than you believe in yourself. And you can wish and hope and pray and weep. Day in and day out, you can call out to God, why hast thou forsaken me? But if you are not taking any real action, moment to moment, you will continue to get no results. Gandhi, whose life is it anyway? God is always there, ready to assist you, ready to guide you, ready to bless you really bless you but you have to do the brunt of the work it's as simple as that it is what we are here to do in this here life experience we are here to recreate who we are who we choose to be in every moment of now and then experience the results of that the problem is, so many of us are creating unconsciously. We are not aware. Our thoughts are creative. Our words are creative. Our actions are creative, even in action. Not to decide is to decide. We are not aware of what we are choosing by the constant negative thought patterns, by the limiting belief systems, by the terrible things we say about ourselves, about our situations, about our lives, by the giving away of our own power, by expecting someone else or something else out there to save us. Nobody is coming to save you. You have to save yourself. You have to do it for yourself. First step is taking control of your own mind, fixing your mindset, paying attention to the words that you speak, to the actions that you take or don't take. Realize that it's all on you. Live on purpose, consciously create and if you don't believe that, the universe is just going to be like, all right, I don't believe it either. If you see yourself as unworthy, as powerless, as hopeless, as having nothing to be grateful for, all you're doing is calling forth more experiences that will reinforce your own beliefs about yourself, about your life. It's the law of the universe. We are all in the business of creating our own lives. It's what we are here to do. Yes, 
there will be unfortunate circumstances. Yes, there will be challenges. Yes, there will be tragedies. There will be pain. But who are you being in relation to that? In every moment of now, who do you choose to be? Ultimately, it's all up to you. Whether you realize it or not, whether you're conscious of it or not. Thank you so much guys for watching. I hope this message resonated with you and I hope it ignited a spark that propels you forward in some way because that is what I am here to do. Love and light to you all and peace. Be with you.